third time I'm recording. So the tools you're gonna need to install CD drive is a CD drive, of course. This you don't really need it, but if you want to to install more, but this you're gonna we're gonna move it to the side because it's not really important. And we're gonna screwdriver in this, okay? So as you can see, yep, so we're gonna move on. So as you can see, I already opened it, people. But you're gonna have to, to you're gonna unscrew some screws in the back of your PC. Like right here, like we'll show you right here. I can't even see. Like right here, you just, there's a screw, but I have a screw in here, so let's move to the side, people. Sorry, you screw. Did you want to? Oh, there you are. Oh, oh, here. Okay, so you're, you're gonna want to save the screw because you're gonna use it to put tighten up your to close the door. So, because you already closed it, so you're just gonna want to slide it or something. And boom, we're inside the PC. Oops. All right, people. So. As you can see, I, I left my SATA data cable because I tried to record. So right here in the back, you're gonna you see these three tabs, right? And here's the hard drive, right? So you're gonna just wanna remove these tabs. There you go. And you're gonna want that's how you take it off. Here's your ports. Here's your disk drive. And this is where you're gonna want to put in your LG CD drive or anything, any kind. So I'm gonna make sure this thing is untied. There we go. There we go. And then you're just gonna want to put the cover back on. Let's see, okay, people. It's perfectly tying. Yep. Just have no reach at the button, but we're just gonna push it back. So here you're just gonna. I think it's just to tighten up, I guess. There we go. Perfect. Now you hear the button, right? Earlier, or maybe earlier in my videos. It didn't work. Okay, so now we're perfectly done with that part, okay? You're going to want to take your SATA data cable or SATA cable for the power. And um, you're going to want to go to the back of the CD drive. Sorry, people. Please record. But first, you could just put the plug in the... See this perfect view? Oh, it's over here. So over here, people, you're going to want to put in your... Like, yep. I just can't show you guys. So you're going to plug it in there. Right? Whatever it is. Let me see. In my view, I can see it, but the camera can't. There we go. So you can make sure it's tied it in. Okay? And then you're going to want to plug in this one that's already installed on the PC. Over, I think, I don't know how you open this, because I think that's where you put this in there. But I'm not, I'm not going to put it in there, because I already have one here. So maybe just in case if you want to put more brakes on it. Here, you're just going to want to... Did it in there? Oh, sorry, I missed something. Did it win? There you go. It want to click as you can hear. And then we want to connect this to the motherboard, which is going to be inside of here. And you're just going to want to put it this side. I mean, this side, people. The side, people. And you're just going to want to put it inside. I think uh, one of those colors, as you can see, you could put it in here, I guess. This motherboard, I guess. This is the motherboard, people. Is this how we call it? Okay, just don't want to break it. Oh, shoot. Give me a second. Okay, I think it's tight, c connected now. Alright, so let's look at this. Shoot. Let's look at this, people. So as you can see, there's three cables. Now, plugged in. Okay. So be so now, as you can see, it's pl plugged in. We're going to want to cover it up now. So that's it for the inside today. Give me, give me a second, people. It could take like 10 minutes or 5 minutes to cover it up. As you can see, I tried to cover this bad boy up. Every time when I want to use it or open it, I can't close it anymore. I open it the whole time. Give me a second. I'm like, hold on, people. Hold on, people. Before we put it on, I think I forgot one thing. You're going to want to plug in your PC. Or what you're going to want to do is just open these three tabs, sorry, to test if the light turns on, okay? So... Because I asked we were just how why you're gonna just wanna there you go so because these two have to run at the same time okay so what we just wanna test this okay so so just go back over here in your PC where's the, where's the cable man? over here so and you're gonna wanna plug it in the top don't just don't electrocute yourself there you go it's on now and you're gonna wanna turn it on oh there now the two now the two discs run now let's open the new one There we go. Now you now you have a new CD drive. 
do that again. Now you have two. That kind of slow on one. There you go. So that's so once again it's on. You're just gonna wanna put this back. You wanna turn it off. Just carefully put your disc, your disc cover front cover back in. It's not sticking on the way. There we go. Once it's sticked, as you can see, it's perfect back. Now it's shutting down because I hit the button. Or oh, it shouldn't do that. But now I have to put the case back on. So I'm going to hold on, okay? Wait, people. What's up, people? I don't think that's the way I'm going to leave it. But now we need to screw back. So, where's the screw? Where is it? Oh, here. So I uh, leave it off again. You're going to screw the nail back right in the back end. So I'm going to just put it in there. So that's how, you're gonna, that's how you install a CD drive, people. So I didn't, so we could just screw it in there. Or I think, yeah, let's just get the screwdriver and try to screw it back in there, okay? There you go. Just tidy it, just screw it back in there to the PC. I don't want this thing to want to tie it in, or it does. like a minute but that's it okay so now you're gonna want to turn on your pc oh shoot oh that's the way it is oh that's the way it is sorry so now you're gonna turn on your pc it has a new sound now before so you're just gonna open it that's check we want to try this one there we go the first time we got it has second this drives so yeah it's just perfect again to warm it up so that's it for this video and i'm out and probably if it requires me to install it or not like you have to enable the drive this drive as you can see they're both perfectly running now as you can see we have both now we have both now disk drives so that's pretty much it for installing it hope you guys enjoyed this video it's a it's really it's a safe tutorial for me so no just do this in your own risk don't get electrocuted so you have to plug it into the motherboard and then plug it in so that's it so hope you guys enjoyed this video and peace out. Or oh, you can just peace out, everybody.